Hi guys, welcome off to 10th Beer Reviews. My name is Chris, and today we're gonna to take a look at this hazy beer right here. Uh, this is from Great Lakes Brewing. This is called Meanwhile Down in Moxie. Uh, it's, like I said, it's a New England style IPA, and uh, before I even open up this beer, I wanna take a look at this beer right here. All right, so like I said, from Great Lakes Brewing out of Toronto, this is Meanwhile Down in Moxie. It's a New England style IPA. It's coming in at five, uh, sorry, 6.5% alcohol by volume. It's in a 473 milliliter can, 65 IBUs at the time when I just looked it up. And uh, this one is brewed with Eldorado hops. And I know this is Eldorado hops because that's where the home of Eldorado hops is, is in Moxie, apparently. I just looked that up. I don't know. What do I know? I don't know anything. Um, I picked this up at the LCBO. It is relatively fresh. It's only about a month and a half old. So hopefully it's still good. I'm pretty sure it will be. Usually Great Lakes is pretty good when it comes down to um, their shelf life for their beer. So let's pour. All right. So it's pouring off as a hazy, but not super, super hazy. Oh, shit. Oh, stay in the glass. Stay in. Oh, it did too. All right. So that's how that's going to sit. Actually, now I'm going to put this one here. All right, so there's a whole bunch of saying on the side here, and yeah, the whole Eldorado hops, yeah, the hometown of Eldorado hops is Moxie. So there we go. So I wasn't wrong, and the internet wasn't wrong. All right, I poured off with about three fingers of head because uh, I aggressively poured it, apparently. Uh, it is hazy. It's going to come off super orange. It does have an orange hint on it. It is a little bit uh, cold because it is, well, condensation all over this because I did just pull it out of the fridge. Uh, yeah, it's not really turbid and murky looking it's just an orange yellowish hazy ipa so it's playing the role Let's take a smell oh okay el dorado hops is coming through i'm getting some uh oh i just got on my nose that's what i'm getting actually i got some oh big juicy tropical notes on this one i'm also picking up a sweet lychee kind of smell i know joe from off the tent uh, off the tent fucking from the beer patrol my god i'm fucking ruining this fucking review already joe from the beer patrol average joe he says he's never had a lychee i've had lychees as a bartender making lychee martinis and all kinds of stuff and even just eating lychees going to the asian food store picking up some lychee and eating them they're fucking delicious this smells like it Oh, 100%. It's fucking smooth. It's almost... Lychee kind of reminds me of like a... Almost like a grape. <clears throat> kind of, I guess. But anyway, I want to drink this one. Cheers. Let's try it out. Oh, that's nice. Actually, that's very nice. Very easy to drink. 6.5%. You can't tell. This is pretty freaking smooth. And it's pretty much the average now when it comes down to New England style IPAs or any IPAs in general. 6.5% is usually the average, I guess, average, whatever. It's, it's between six and seven usually. Um, let's talk about the body on this one. At six and a half percent, the body is nice. It's straight up medium body. Bigger body than I was expecting on this one. I thought this was going to be a little bit thinner, but no, it's actually pretty nice and big body for the, for the uh the amount of alcohol in this one and for the style it's hitting uh it's hitting the mark for sure uh, let's take talk about what i taste before i destroy this whole fucking review okay that light key is coming through nice i'm actually really surprised how much light i'm actually picking up on this one i haven't had light in a while but it, it's light is a very distinct taste when you pick it out of a, of a beer or even out of a drink or even if you eat it it's a very unique kind of a taste and it's totally coming through with this beer uh i'm also picking up a whole bunch of tropical notes on this one more of the sweeter tropical notes not much more not much of a, of a citrus kind of pithiness or anything like that this is more of the the tropical notes when it comes down to maybe a little bit of a pineapple maybe a hint of a peach i guess and more of a like I said, the lychee's coming through and a little bit of a passion fruit is coming through on this one. And mango. I can't forget that because as I was talking there and burping, the mango kind of hint is coming through on this one, which is 
pretty goddamn tasty. Guys, in my own opinion, the Meanwhile Down and Moxie from Great Lakes Brewing, it's good. Available right now at the LCBO. I mean, I sound like a commercial, but this is you can get this and it's you're not gonna be disappointed with this beer, honestly, to be to be perfectly honest with you. It is a fucking very easy New England style IPA to just suck back and enjoy. Uh, I gotta give this thing a score, I guess. Um, so from Great Lakes Brewing, the meanwhile down in Moxie, you know what? It's gonna get a straight up eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I enjoy this beer. I could fucking pound these all day long. Uh, this has got a great body on it, great flavor, great taste. But sweet at the beginning. You're getting a little bit of a of, of a bitterness. Now I wouldn't say it's a very slight bitterness and then very very fine, light dry finish at the very end of this beer. This is a very easy drinking, crushable New England style IPA at six point five percent. So that's it, guys. That's my opinion on this one. Going to give this one a straight up 8 out of 10. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys uh, checking out this video. And uh, I'll almost spill it all over my place. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to keep following me, click the link in the middle there, that subscribe button. That's me. Uh, and if you want, check out my other videos by clicking on the link beside me. Cheers, guys. Thanks.